Welcome to Quill Sword Blogcast, Biden to Surrender American Sovereignty in Public Health. Conservatives be crazy. I should know. I'm one. In our present edition of Wiki Squirrel, we have our heroic commentators all up in arm about Biden's visit to Ukraine, evidently trying to shore up his failing administration and making Russia look stupid in the process is a bad thing. Sigh. This kind of thing happens to everyone. Heck, for all I know, they might even have a point. Although for the life of me, I don't see it. It's not a big thing in the grand scheme of Biden's disintegrating presidency, nor is it going to hurt Republican chances in 2024. It's not annoying for those reasons. It's infuriating for a bigger reason. Yo, guys, did you miss the part where Biden is trying to turn United States health policy over to the World Health Organization? Biden is literally selling out the United States Constitution, and all you care about is is his stupid photo op with Zelensky? Are you guys nuts? Get a clue, guys. I know you don't like Ukraine, but they aren't the threat. If this insane thing is allowed to stand, or even happen, U.S. sovereignty will be diminished. Oh, and the wackos at the WHO can tell your doctor how to treat you. Great for the Biden admin. It's a backdoor to a vaccine mandate 2.0. This time brought to you by the WHO. Biden gets to plead innocent. It wasn't his fault the WHO ordered the mass vaccinations. And we have to fight the battle against medical oppression all over again. Which probably explains why Biden went to Ukraine. There's no particular benefit to annoying the snot out of Russia or posing with Zelensky for the U.S. or for Biden. But it served beautifully as a distraction from the real threat. Biden's visit is all over the news. His surrender of U.S. sovereignty isn't even a blurb. For those of you too lazy to read the link, and the nice folks on the podcast that can't see it, here's the short version. Biden is negotiating a supposedly legally binding agreement with the WHO to give it the authority to set the American public health policy during a pandemic. The astute, who aren't frothing at the mouth over the Ukraine thing, will note that Biden only a few weeks ago extended the so-called COVID-19 emergency. Translation, we're still legally still in a pandemic. Gee, you don't think the WHO would mandate COVID-19 vaccination, do you? Why the devil the Democrats are so gung-ho over the vaccine, especially a vaccine that doesn't actually work? And yes, technically, vaccination either create immunity or it is a failure. Rewritten CDC web pages notwithstanding. And that has evidence piling up that it causes significant adverse side effects. Why they want that is beyond me. But you have to give them points for determination. They aren't letting go no matter what. The cynic in me suspects that they realize Trump figured out how that ballot harvesting thing, and they can't think of anything else to use as an, a- as an issue. Yes, that's insane. But they're Democrats, so insanity isn't a real obstacle. Being a little less sarcastic, it's still insane. I have no idea why they're sticking to such an obviously losing policy. Can Biden even do this? Legally? No. The United States Senate has to actually sign off on any treaty. And this would go in that category. But, of course, we got to go through the courts first. And the United States Supreme Court will not step in. 
They'll wait for whatever case working its way through some idiotic D.C. circuit to get all the way to the Federal Appeals or the 4th District, whichever one is stuck with D.C., and then find some dumb reason to send it back. I have a high degree of confidence in the United States Supreme Court's ability to dodge any important issue it doesn't want to handle. Sometime in 2025, the court will get around to informing Trump that he can't require COVID-19 vaccinations anymore, probably a year after Trump already rescinded the mandate and before that case gets to the appeals court, because you just know the Democrats will try to sue to reinstate the thing. I may be a bit cynical. I'm probably a lot snarky. Uh, Sorry about the shoes. And I'm most definitely mad as all get out. I just don't know who to be more angry with. Biden for being a blank? Or the Democrats for being blank? Or the Supreme Court for really being blank? Or maybe just my fellow conservatives for being so easily distracted. Look, squirrel! I'm going to let you just fill in the blanks. I don't want to melt my keyboard with what I'd actually say. Besides, Democrats might be listening and none of them are old enough for that. I have to wonder, is Biden jealous of Trump for being impeached twice? Is this some sort of weird hold-my-beer moment? Because in anything resembling a sane universe, Biden would be facing impeachment tomorrow. I like to close these blogs with a little zinger, but frankly, I can't see any real humor in it right now. Insert a string of very bad words here.